In this video, I will show you some of the most important SAT maths multiple choice question. If you are preparing for the SAT, this video would be very important because in this video, I will cover some of the most important maths question for SAT test. So the first question, which is from the SAT practice paper is if 3 by y plus x by 2 is equal to 10, then 6 by y plus x is equal to what? So the following or the, the following are the uh, options and uh, from this equation like which is the given 3 by y plus x by 2 is equal to 10 we have to make the left side of this equation that is 6 by y plus x so how you can make the left side of this equation similar to 6 by y plus x if we multiply two both side on this equation we would have the 6 by y plus x and uh, the 10 would be multiplied with 2 that is equal to 20 so it means that 6 by y plus x is equal to 20 which is the c option is the correct option the second question which is related to the uh, square root 20 minus under root x is equal to 11 then which of the following gives all value of x all value of x mean that there may be one value of x there may be two values these are the options and uh, here you have to find the value of x okay so if you subtract uh, 20 both side you would have minus under the root x is equal to minus 9 so, okay so the negative signs cancel so we have only under the root x is equal to 9 so taking square both side you would have x is equal to 81 and this is only the one value that is equal to x and we have only c value c option is the correct option which is 81 only the next question is p plus 2 whole square is equal to p minus 5 whole square the above equation is true for which of the following values so you can solve this question by two method either you can put all of these options value into the equation if the left side and right side become equal you can say that that option would be the correct option but what if e option is the correct so you waste all of the time on a b c and d so to solve this question easily you have to expand the formula a plus b whole square okay this is the equation open the formula a plus b whole square so you would have p square plus 4p plus 4 is equal to 4p square minus 10p plus 25 so now p square p square cancel so we have only 4p plus 4 is equal to minus 10p plus 25 so we have 14p is equal to 21 and p is equal to 1.5 so this is most easy method from the previous one so you can say that only the p is equal to 1.5 that is only one value of p and that is the d option is the correct option okay even though this is a quadratic equation both side but we have only one value that is 1.5 only if you put 1.5 in this equation you would have the same values on the left and right side the next question is the sum of two numbers is 5 and their difference is 2 which of the following could be difference of their square so we assume here that for example that x and y are the two numbers so to translate this statement into the equation we would have x plus y is equal to 5 is the sum of two numbers is 5 and their difference is 2 it means that x minus y is equal to 2 so to find the square difference of their number that is x square minus y square and it is the formula x square minus y square is equal to x minus y into x plus y so we have the value of x minus y which is 2 and x plus y which is 5 so 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 8, 10 so that is d option is the correct option the next question is similar to the previous one the difference of two numbers is 4 and their sum is minus 7 what is their product so we have to find the product in this question of the two number now let's assume that the two numbers are x and y 
So the difference of two numbers is 4. It means that x minus y is equal to 4. And their sum is minus 7. It means x plus y is equal to minus 7. So to find their product, we must have the value of x and the value of y. So to find the value of x, we have to add these two equation. So we would have 2x is equal to 3, minus 3. And x is equal to minus 1.5. So this is the value of x. So to find the value of y, we must plug this value of x into either the equation number 1 or into equation number 2. So let's put it into the equation and it would have minus 1.5 minus y is equal to 4. And the y value is 5.5. So now this is the x value, this is the y value. To find the product that is x into y, multiply these both number and we would have positive number which is 8.25. So the D option here is the correct option. The next question is if phi of power x is equal to y and x is positive, which of the following equals phi of y square in term of x? So now we have this equation 5 power x is equal to y and we have to find the value of 5 y square. So, so from the left side of this equation we cannot make uh, 5 y square from the 5 power x. So we have to make 5 y square from the right side of this equation. So how you can make it? So taking square both sides so you would have 5 power 2 x is equal to y square. Now we have to multiply both sides by 5. So we have 5 into 5 power 2x is equal to 5 y square, which is equal to 5 y square is equal to 25 power 2x. So it means that 5 y square is equal to 25 power 2x, which is exactly the C option, and this is the right answer. The next question is if y is equal to 3x then the value of 10 square of y is. So we have to find the 10 uh, percent of y. Okay, that is not square. If y is equal to 3x, then the value of 10 percent of y is. Okay, now, so here you can see that these, these are the option and you know this, that percent is mean, percent means to divide by 100. So it means like one divided by 100, percent is equal to 1 divided by 100 okay so 10% uh, is equal to 10 divided by 100 which is equal to 1, 0.1 okay now the value of 10% of y so meaning that 10% multiply by y because 10% is equal to 0.1 so we have the value of y which is 3x so put the value of y so we would have 0.1 multiplied by 3x and that is equal to 0.3x. So the B option is the correct option. If n is an odd integer, which of the following must be an even integer? So this is the most easiest question in this video. Like if you choose n is equal to 1 and put uh, the value of n in all of these options, you would have only one option that give you the even number. The rest of all will not give you the even. It will give you the fraction or it will give you the odd numbers. For example, if you put n is equal to 1 into the, uh, into the option n divided by 2 which is a, it will give you 0 0.5 which is not an even number. If you put in b, this will give you the 7 which is not an even integer. If you put n is equal to 1 in equation in the option C, that will give you the 4 and it is exactly the even integer. So C here is the correct option. The next question is 7, 7 power 9 plus 7 power 8 divided by 8 is equal to what? So in this question you don't need to use the calculator or rough work. So on instead of 7 power 9, you can write 7 power 8 multiplied by 7 plus 7 power 8. 
okay so you can see here in the nominator that 7 power 8 is common so take common 7 power 8 so you would have 7 plus 1 uh, and that is multiplied by 7 power 8 divided by 8 so 7 plus 1 is equal to 8 okay so now 8 8 cancel so you have only 7 power 8 so this is the correct option the next question is if x minus y is equal to p then 2x square minus 4x plus 2y square is equal to what so again we have to use the formula a minus b whole square which is a square plus a square plus b square minus 2ab so again we have to find the value of 2x square minus 4xy plus 2y square so if we take two common so we would have the formula x square minus 2xy plus y square so instead of this we can write x minus y whole square and we know this we know that that uh, the x minus y is equal to p so 2 multiplied by p whole square so that would be the correct option which is e is the correct option the next question is if if 5p minus q is equal to 9 and 10p minus 2q is equal to 7 then which of the following is the correct one so here from the from the question you can see that 5p is minus q is equal to 9 so if you multiply this equation by 2 so we would have 10p minus 2q is equal to 18 so from this equation in this equation you can see that the both left side of these equations are equal in the left side or not so you can say that the two equations represent contradictory statement and p and q cannot be determined so you can say that d option is the correct option over here in this question which is the last one a man can do a job in h hours alone and his son can do it in 22 hours alone together how many hours will it take them to do this job so the following options are here so for example the man does 1 divided by h the job in 1 hour and the son does 1 divided by 2 h of the job in 1 hour so if you add them you will have 3 divided by 2 h is you are going to find how many hours will it take them to do the job so you will have to make it make the denominator of this in the nominator a nominator who is a denominator so you would have 2h divided by 3 so this is the correct option which is the d is the correct option so in this video we have discussed the sat meets most important question and i hope you learn something most important from this video Thanks for watching.